sold. Excuse that. I am about to go run some errands for the first time. Actually, I don't have any errands to run, but I'm going with my sister-in-law. So run errands and um, get out the house. You know, the only time I get out the house is to go to work. And so I'm um, actually going to go back inside and change because it's cold. And what I have on is like... I don't know, I'm kind of cold, so I'm going to put longer pants on and a jacket, so be our me. We are getting a little shop on. Hello. Hello. So we are going to Marshall's in the land of the sugar. <laughs> Sugarland. Hopefully we could find some things. I'm really looking for the damn salt. <laughs> Pink Himalayan salt. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is a different one too. That's not the brand I had. How much this big one is since everybody like it now? Oh, oh that's, that's it. We might get this big one. This was another brand. They all the same price, $4.99 or $3.99. Okay, might as well do the big one. Yeah. It's more ounces. So I wanted to show y'all what I just bought. I went to Marshall's for one thing. And came out with so much. So much. <laughs> I wanted to show y'all this though, because this is so cute. I'm messing it up. But look. Wait. Oh, shit. I like, oh, no copyright. It's a vegetarian. <laughs> no copyright. <laughs> Marshall got the best coffee mugs, everybody. What else did I get? A sponge holder is not that important, but this is for my mama because she likes stuff like this. So, a sponge thing for the sink. Oh, the salt. I did get the salt. But then I got these. This is a good price because I lost all my real diamonds. And until I buy some more and can afford to buy more, <laughs> we got these. And they're sterling silver, so they won't turn my ear green because my ear is sensitive. So they're sterling silver, but of course the diamond is, you know, fake. We gon' fake it till we make it. Yep. Okay. It's so bright. <laughs> so we found a new HEB that have the crawfish. Uh, the person who make the crawfish apparently is from Louisiana and they so good. So if y'all are in Sugarland, go to the HEB in Sugarland. Uh, it's off University and Highway 90. It's the best crawfish, I promise. I promise. You'll see. Promise. Nice. Hey, good. Trying to show prices. Yeah. Okay. Um. You mind if I get a little, uh, a little, a little view? Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not in it. <laughs> that made me feel That's uncomfortable. Fine. I got a mask on. And <laughs> I forgot to bring my camera with me when I went to the nail shop. But I got my feet done. Um, that one's kind of short, but whatever. I've been into white lately, but I got my feet done because I'm going to LA. Um, skincare is on 1010. So I got my eyebrows done. It's been a year since I've gotten my eyebrows done. And I don't know if y'all can see what I see. So let's see if you notice my dilemma. So this eyebrow is like very round, like just shroom. And this one is like a square. Like it's a shroom. This one is shroom. This one is shroom. This one's more like straight. And I know y'all see that. I know you see that. She cut me short. My eyebrows are usually like very long and thick. And I just feel played because I trusted to get these eyebrows done. And y'all may think they look good, but in my opinion, I don't know, like, this one is amazing. This one is, like, who the hell done it? And I just feel like as thick as my eyebrows are, I should not pay to get my eyebrows done and then have to go home and fill them in. 
make it make sense so i feel like i gotta fill this one and you can tell oh my god i could tell but i'm just saying that i waited a year to get my eyebrows done and perfect them so like when i got the first wax it'd just be like amazing what is this <laughs> what is this but anywho so it's currently Wednesday. No, it's not. I would say it's Wednesday. It's Tuesday. It's currently Tuesday. And I leave for LA Friday. So I'm going to be packing probably tomorrow. Like doing some laundry tomorrow. And getting my stuff together for my trip. And duh. I'm going to vlog it. Duh. And we're going to change the press ons. The lady at the nail salon was like, you got your nails in here? And I was like, no, they press ons. And she was like, oh, you're trying to put me out of business. Period. I am, miss, because I'm not paying. I'm not paying for another set of nails. These would have been like $50. New. Hey. Can you me and puppy now? Oh, you don't want to sleep with me tonight? I want to sleep with both of you. Okay. Both of Say hey, vlog. Hi, fire. Vlog. 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 Not vlog. Vlog. G. Say g. g. As I was saying before, I was interrupted by the four year old. Um, three, almost four. So the lady at the nail salon really thought that, you know, I got my nails done. And these are from Shein, y'all. Shein. They were $2.50. Not paying for nails. I got a bad bump. Oh my God. Y'all see how big? I don't ever get bad breakouts. Unless I'm on my, you know, period, my cycle. And it is currently after my cycle. And this just appeared yesterday. And uh, it's a whopping one. I, I, I. So I tried to pop it. Let's hope it goes away. But the nails that I'm going to put on for LA. <sighs> Wait till you see those. If you thought these little babies were something. They just look so natural, don't they? Oh my god. It's like match my skin. Two fifty. <laughs> Two fifty. So it's Thursday. And I am about to start packing. And I just had some issues with the airline and I was almost letting it get me there. But I will side. Everything's good now. So let's get the packing together. So it's gonna be freezing. And that messes up all my outfits. But I know for sure I am going to wear this dress. So I bought this dress forever ago. And we're going to wear this. It's going to be cold, but my legs are going to be out and freezing. Um, The thing is, I need all these dressy outfits, but it's going to be cold. And all the original outfits I had planned don't quite go. Because it's going to be cold. But when I went to Target earlier in our video i got some little um what do you call them little travel things travel essentials so i got a new soap dish for my soap i like that it's clear i got some wipes so these are face wipes to you know wipe my makeup off in a little one because usually my face wipes are big and this is 10 so this is good for the weekend Usually I have like a big set. These are also little moist set towels and they're cleansing towels. So this is good for, you know, on the plane. When I get off the plane to freshen up, all that. Just some little, you know. We're also supposed to be going hiking. And so if we go hiking, I'm going to definitely need these. Of course, I got my favorite toothpaste, my Crest 3D whitening. So I got a little travel size of that. Target gave me this for a dollar and I think it's like three or two. But I found this little caress. That's so cute, isn't it? So I got a little body wash. And I'll have soap. Double up. And then I also got a little deodorant. And then a little, you know, mouthwash. But I forgot to get a little toothbrush. So I'm going to have to run with a big toothbrush. Ugh. So I also got a whole bunch of packs of hair on the floor. So I'm going to bring a pack of hair. <laughs> because I am coming at y'all with all the looks. So I got this hair from Amazon actually, and it is pre-stretched. Um, what kind? Kanekalon, Kanekalon. I always say Kankalong, and I know that's wrong. So whatever, braiding hair. And these are three packs in one. 
a very good deal. So it's three packs of bundles and one pack and it comes with five packs. So it's 15 bundles. And um, I when I do my little tiny braids, I would usually do like a pack and a half. So, you know, save money. And it was only like $20. It was $20 for five packs. So I'm gonna bring this hair though to make like a ponytail and a long braid. So we got that, that's gotta go in there. And then, so I have to go to work tomorrow. When you're watching this vlog, I'll be on the plane. <laughs> but because I have to go to work, I have to bring everything with me and go straight from work. So I'm trying to get all of my packing stuff together so that I could just leave in my car and then when I leave work, I could go straight. So I kind of have to double pack. I have to pack my work bag and then, you know, like my airport bag. I don't know about y'all because I put everything in my um my purse like I'll put my jewelry and my purse with me like my expensive stuff I'll put with me on the plane so I gotta make sure I pack all that stuff which is usually just my jewelry and my bags um I don't spend that much money on anything else especially clothes <laughs> so we also have to do our nails before we get to the nails though we have to figure out what the hell am I gonna wear because it's gonna be cold. Let's put you guys in the closet. So, um, I had all these dresses. Well, I'm gonna wear the orange dress, obviously. I have this, if y'all follow me on Instagram, I wore this on Instagram. But fun fact, I did not go out that day. Plans got canceled. So I got dressed up, took a picture and everything and wore it for no reason. So I still got this that I would like to wear out. But I also, let me turn my light back on. I do have, I could wear, I don't know. So I need a brunch outfit. I need a brunch outfit. It's going to be like high 55s, guys. The high 55. I need a brunch outfit. And I need a nighttime outfit. I got the one nighttime outfit. I need one so more. we're in the garage. And I want to show y'all all of my shoes so all of my heels pretty much are like not like they are they're open toe shoes except for i have two pumps i never really wear pumps i'm not a pump a gal but i wanted to wear these i'm gonna bring these these orange strappy heels so i'm gonna bring those i really wanted to wear these y'all oh my god do you see how cute these are this like reflective gold oh, to die for but it's gonna be cold and i'm so confused why is it so damn cold why so i also have these another fun fact i bought these in like 2015 maybe 14 whenever these came out they see men and i've never worn them never worn them and they're really cute they're a booty hey mocha Mo wants to say hey guys. Hey Moga, where'd you go? Come here. Here he is. Hey Mogi. So I also have these. A little snakeskin booty, but the heel isn't that high. So I was thinking maybe brunch vibes. I could wear these during the day. Um, what do you think, Mo? I don't care. So I probably wear these during the day for a brunch. I also have these black chunky boots, which is also good for like a brunch possibly. They're an ankle boot. Um, other than that, all my heels are gonna be like open toe heels. So let's grab these for sure. How do y'all feel about cold weather trying to get cute? Like it just throws you off. I got rid of my black thigh high boots and because they wasn't thigh high. Like they just kept falling down. You tie them around your thigh and they fall right down. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. So with this dress, I'm gonna do these orange heels. <laughs> it goes perfectly. I got these from Shein and I'm so surprised y'all. I don't know, I know people have been shopping on Shein forever. I was always a little skeptical. But these are so comfortable, it's crazy, Shein. And the heel isn't too high. It's like a three inch maybe. I'm used to wearing like four or five inch. So that's good. The heel isn't that high. So 
I think I got all my outfits together. I think. But I definitely want to bring another pair of shoes. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. If I'm going to bring another pair of shoes. So I told y'all it's going to be freezing. So I'm going to bring this little fur coat type of thing. Um, it's not too big though. So I'm hoping that it doesn't take up too much space. And it'll go with at least two of my outfits. And I'll be nice and warm. Just in case. And then of course I'm going to bring my jean jacket. A jean jacket is universal. goes with any outfit. So I'm going to for sure bring that. I'm only going to bring two bags. So they're going to have to do. <laughs> We're supposed to be going hiking. So if we go hiking. I have my workout outfit. Which I mean I need my workout shoes. Show. Sure. Ah, let's see if I can fit. I'm also trying to figure out where I want to put stuff. How do y'all pack? I be feeling like I know how to pack. Don't ask the other pack. I'm like, I don't pack like this. But I'm going to put my shoes down here so they don't touch my clothes, you know? I don't know if I'm supposed to or if I'm supposed to put shoes over there. But I always feel like that part is a lot bigger and I put, you know, more stuff over there. So I'm going to put my shoes in here. So, I'm bringing these, of course. I definitely need, oh yeah. I'm definitely bringing another pair of shoes because this is going to have a lot of space. As small as those fit. I'm bringing these little mules. These take up absolutely no space, so. I'll be able to bring a lot of pair of shoes. I'm bringing these to go hiking. My Adidas, I work out with these. Like Adidas boots or something like that. And then I'm bringing these booties, my snakeskin booties. And I'm gonna bring a pair of black heels or clear. Black or clear? Vote, vote, vote. I should do clear. I'm gonna do clear. Okay, I lied. These are not clear, nor are they black. But I've never worn these. So I'm going to wear these, bring these. They look like old Bermuda shoes, but they're very cute. So we have all of the heels or shoes at the bottom. Oh shit, maybe that's not a good idea. Because now that I'm looking at it. Okay, so I try to fold as small as possible. And I fold my clothes like in outfit form. Like this is an outfit, so I put it together. So, that's an outfit. That's Friday night. This is an outfit. Saturday night. Um, this is for the canyon. The hike. Oh god, I don't know if this is gonna fit. Now I'm looking like shit. Do I need to get a bigger bag? Um, this is Saturday during the day. We're going to brunch on a Saturday. A Saturday brunch, yo. This is a Sunday night outfit just in case. Just in case we have a Sunday night. And then some Jamie Jams. Um, I hope that I can fit all of my hair stuff because I'm bringing so much of stuff. These are pajamas. And I gotta put my toiletries in my suitcase. I'm checking my bag so that I don't have to deal with holding it. I know it's like a love-hate relationship when I check a bag because I don't have to worry about holding it, which is good. And it relieves, you know, the weight, the amount of shit I'm toting around. But then, you know, I gotta sit there and wait for the bag to get there. But it's okay. What are we rushing for? There's no rush. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Pretty decent. I actually need to, I still need to put the jackets on. I put my jackets at. So I always put my jewelry in a ziplock like this, but I carry it with me on the plane. So this is going on the plane with me. I gotta pack those up in a bag. And then I'm bringing these. These are my sunglasses, y'all. So there's actually a sale going on right now on my site. So if y'all want to get y'all some sunglasses, let's go get it. I'm also going to put this in my other bag. Because I don't like to put nothing in my suitcase that could get stolen or broken. So these are also coming. And these are also mine. So I'm bringing these. 
Like I said, I got a sale on site. Bring these, and y'all want to see what these look like on? They're so cute. They're definitely a vibe. You have to have like you know the right outfit and stuff with these. Oh my god, so cute. Why? Move, Mowgli. 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 Move. Told you you so extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know you. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way. Tryna control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion. Can share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane Either way, baby, we could go all night We could do it all night We could go all night, all night. Do we heal, do we bleed I'm gonna like yo, bleed. So I just put my clip-ins in And I have my mama's sewing clips on Some other uh, hairs A sewing that I have, some bundles Because y'all see this? My hair is just too thick the clippings that I got, it's not thick enough. Um, I think it's on like 180 grams and my hair is so thick. So I need more grams. I need like two, at least two, 220. So uh, the clips that she's sewing on for me right now are going to go up in here. So that I can have a long piece here to hide that. And a few more up here. But I do like these clippings. They're seamless. I got seamless clippings. And, um, yeah, they just very flat to my head, which I'm not used to. Usually clip-ins, like, you can feel them. And the reason I do clip-ins is because I changed my hair so much. And the last time I got a sew-in, it didn't last. Like, it just was not good. So, so like, if I'm going to pay all that money, I might as well invest in hair that I could keep using. So, yeah. I have my clip-ins in. <laughs> These are all the pieces, so it's eight pieces. And I don't know, it's just not full enough. My mom was calling me. <laughs> so before I end this vlog, because I need to go to sleep, um, I wanted to show y'all what nails I'm gonna put on. So that's what I've been wearing personal nails like crazy. So I got these from Etsy. So I'm gonna be putting these on, there we go. These cute, press on nails on and like I said I got them from Etsy Etsy has all kind of nails and all all kind of price points those were a little more I think these were like 20 20 something dollars for these but again I feel like it's worth it because I'm sure this length the shape this would be like I don't know 90 100 dollars so save money where you can cut corners so I'm about to put those on and then take my behind and sleep. I hope you all enjoyed this long vlog. And yeah, and my battery's about to die. I will see y'all in LA.